porter, an old established tradition in Irish drinking history. Why, we've even got songs about it. If you want your child to grow, your child to grow, your child to grow. If you want your child to grow, give him a jar of pork or sing to a lure and lure and la, to a lure and lure and la, sing to a lure and lure and la, give him a jar of pork. It's an acquired taste, of course. But at least it comes easier than the bitter thickness of stout. For just as England produced beer that was mild and bitter, so we developed porter and stout. This is the mild, plain they call it. You would always call for a pint of plain. That was just part of the mystique that grew up around this drink. A more essential part of it was the way in which it was drawn. Barmen could rise and fall on their ability to draw a pint of plain. See, it's drawn from two barrels. A high one first, to give it a bit of life. A good glass full of gushing good cheer that settles slowly towards the bottom of the glass into a thick, contented cream. It takes several minutes for that cream to substantiate towards the bottom of the glass. When it's ready for the muscle and the sinew, the real body of the drink itself. And that comes from the other barrel of flat. And if it's all drawn properly, the way it should be done, then the cream is borne majestically above to form the clerical colour that proves the goodness in its heart. And the true porter drinker would look upon such a glass with great reverence indeed. If work was the curse of the drinking classes, then porter was their salvation. And yet, you know, it was not the traditional drink of Ireland. The disciples would have you believe. This was a city drink. There were definite centers for it. It was the liquid lunch of countless working men in Dublin and Derry and in Belfast, where the shipyard drew most of its strength from the dark substance. It was the drink that waited for the men as the horn blew in the evening and pubs up the Newtonards Road, around the station and up Ann Street, Short Strand. The pints of plain used to be standing in rows on the counter waiting for the onslaught from the yard. Used to be, for pubs progressed. Bottled beer broke through, gin and tonic took over and porter became impolite. Lately, there have been less than a hundred pubs in Ireland selling it. And now, these are probably the last pints of plain you'll ever see in Belfast. For on the 30th of April, 1973, they stopped making it altogether. This was more than a way of drinking. This really was a way of life porter, the drink that launched thousands of ships. <laughs>